Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel or have stumbled across this video, welcome. My name is Katie, aka Put Your Makeup On. I'm so happy to have you with me today and I post videos every Monday and Thursday. Speaking of which, I really hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. And throughout the course of this video, I really hope you get the chance to thumbs up this video as well so I know that you enjoyed it. And today we are going to be talking about red lipstick. I have a couple versions to talk about with you guys. Some high-end, some drugstore, and I really love wearing red lipstick. I personally feel that any skin tone can wear red lipstick. Personally, me, I love wearing it almost every day. I wear pinks and nudes too, but red is one of my favorite, like, bold, fun colors to wear. And I love red lipstick, and I really hope you get the chance to maybe, um, you know, Maybe you want to try out a red lipstick if you've never tried one before. So, I have some favorites to share with you. This is how we do it on Put Your Makeup On. And if you want to know my top five favorite red lipstick, that's a tongue twister to say, then just keep watching. And the first one that I want to talk about is nice and affordable and very accessible in any drugstore. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in the shade 250 Standout. And I have it on now, and I really do love the way it feels. It doesn't feel sticky. It's not overly drying. It is more of a matte formulation, but it's not drying whatsoever. I can feel that I have a lip product on my lips regardless, but it's very comfortable. I don't have to worry about it, you know, smearing everywhere because red can be very high maintenance depending on the brand and the formulation. But I love the way this feels. I think it's a really nice, you know, classic blue tone red. Not insanely too, too bright and not too dark at the same time. Really love the packaging as well. It is a crayon type of style where you can get really good precision. My only worry with these types of packaging is once the point eventually goes, it's kind of flat. But um, regardless, I still love it. I love how nice and affordable it is, and it is definitely one of my go-tos, especially for going out. It, another one that I wear probably more so than all of the ones that I'm going to be talking about today is the Sephora Liquid Lipstick in the shade Always Red number one. This Holy guacamole. I love, love how comfortable it is. It's not sticky. It's not greasy. It's not drying by any means. It does take a little bit of time for it to fully, fully set, but I really love the way after I go to eat my lunch at work, I don't have to worry about touching up. Sometimes I feel whenever I go to wear this, I'm like, I look in the mirror after I eat my Subway sandwiches at work, and I'm like, oh, I don't have to touch up. But I really do love how this just glides on effortlessly. Liquid lipsticks are probably my favorite formulation to wear out of all the different types of lipsticks there are nowadays. But the Sephora one is, it's just so classic. I wish they was called Classic Red because I think that's exactly what it is. Classic doll foot applicator and I really do love it and I hope they never discontinue it and I hope they never change it. Back to something nice and affordable, ColourPop. Color Pop Lippy Sticks. I love the name uh, Lippy Stick. That is just so freaking cute. I have the shade called Dazed and it is a matte formulation. The matte ones I really do enjoy and I really also like how it is a nice small applicator as well. My only gripe with it, I wish was it a little pointier. Sometimes I feel when the actual tip of it is not pointy, it's hard to get precision, especially around the Cupidsville area. So sometimes I'll take a lip brush and, you know, kind of make it work around that area. But I love how it's retractable and I really do love the way it feels. Not dry, not, you know, mushy or or cakey by any means. You guys know what I mean. But I really do love ColourPop and I have so many more colors that I definitely want to share in a later video because I think their formulation is just so beautiful. And I really do love it. Days is a beautiful, rich, darker, vampier red. Not as bright as the other two that I talked about, but this one is definitely um, really, really, it's a sexy red. So another red that I really do enjoy the formulation of, and it is a little on the expensive side, but I 
really, really am happy that I have it in my collection regardless. And this is from Dior. And this is actually a very popular color. It's the Rouge Dior 999 mattes. And sometimes I'm like 666. I'm like, oh my god, no, it's 999. And this Dior lip, I mean, I love the packaging. Like, I just want to sit this on my vanity and like just stare at it. Really love the way Dior does lipsticks. They are just beautifully made. Again, my only con, my only um, negative about it is that it's not specifically pointed um, at the tip. So that's my only gripe with it. Again, it's really hard to get precision. But regardless, the formulation is just so velvety. It just glides on like satin on your lips. And I just... I, I really do love how it feels. It just lasts really long on the lips. No bleeding, no feathering. Love the formulation of Dior lipsticks. The matte ones specifically, not so much a fan of like their glossier lipsticks, but really super ha happy that I have it in my collection. And if you were in the market for a nice, you know, luxury red lipstick, this would be 1000% the one that I would recommend for you. Another classic and the last liquid lip, red lip, that I would recommend for you guys, and my absolute, ugh, I love this one and I'm so happy that I have it, is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lip. I cannot tell you how many times I recommend Kat Von D to clients because it, they really are a really nice formulation. And this one is specifically in the shade Outlaw. And I think we all seen by now, you know, the packaging of Kat Von D. I really do love her packaging. I think her packaging in whether it's this or like the studded lipsticks or like anything in the brand for that matter is just so unique. I feel like her products, you really don't see a lot of those other types of packaging on the market. But I really do love the way that these feel. Another type of formulation similar to the Sephora one I talked about where you don't have to worry about, you know, touching up after, you know, you go to eat something. Obviously, when you're wearing these types of lipsticks, if you are eating a greasy salad um, or like greasy fries or greasy pizza, obviously you do have to be careful because you have to remember you're wearing a red. But regardless, this one I definitely find, um, the only con with it I feel is that it's a little bit more drying than the Sephora one, but I personally don't mind. I personally can wear cement on my lips and I won't complain. I don't mind it whatsoever. I know that's not the deal with everyone, but, um, but I really do love the way that this glides on. It lasts. I can get through a full eight hour work day with this on and then some when I come home at the end of my shift. So, uh, I really do love Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, and I definitely want to do a collection of these guys as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a collection video of my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Um, so that is pretty much all I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching my red lipstick video. And definitely let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see any types of other collection videos. I would love to do them for you. Uh, and if you have any red lipstick suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like always, I would love to know. I love always like scouring the internet for like new and different brands and like different formulations. I love all that. I could research makeup till 3 a.m. So that's just what I do. That's what I love. So that is pretty much all I have for today's video. I hope you get the chance to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Again, I post every Monday and Thursday. I will have all the products that I talked about in today's video listed down below if you missed one. And that is all I have for today's video and I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day guys.